Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Baba Is You. Uh, we have, what, several more levels to clear in this world. I thought, though, that I would go back and do some of the levels we skipped on earlier worlds. There doesn't seem to, like, really be any compelling notion of, like, when you should go forward, when you should stick around. And I wonder, like, whether these levels are, like, so easy that I'll blaze through them, or whether they're difficult puzzles, or what. So, I don't know. Let's see what's up. So, Sunken Temple. I assume this is like a, a more difficult variant on Submerged uh, Ruins. I don't remember if I looked at it already. Yeah, it is. Okay. So you guys remember this. This was in Episode 2. Crab is Defeat. This time there's only one crab, which is interesting. Jelly is Push. And everything else looks about the same, right? Why is this harder? What's the difference? Uh, the difference is I can't get in. Huh. I can't get into this area without activating the crab is defeat. Right? There's no way I can change wall is stop. I can get in from here. I can't break up Baba is you. So these kind of have to be my first two steps. Huh. But once I'm here, the level looks like it's clearly lost, right? What am I missing? This is baffling. So, like, I can break up Rock is push, I did that before, and if I do, I can get to here, but, like, Jelly is still push. Hmm. Is there some way, like, that I can get in here without... Alright, let's try to think a little more analytically. After it, after I've pushed the word crab onto the word defeat, is there any way that I could still get into the crab's area? I guess I could have done that instead of spelling rock as you last time, right? And then Baba as you would have allowed me to do basically the same thing. But I can only do those things after I've gotten into the room with rock as push. There's just no way to change any rules at all until I go push that rock. Is that correct? I can move around Baba is you, but I can't break it up. 
Which means I can't get any of it anywhere near while it's stopped because I can't push any of it down. And I can't push while it's stopped up. So I can't break any rules until I get the rock is pushed. So I must start this way. And then somehow... get in there anyway. Which is just madness. How could you do it? So I guess this is... You remember that one when we first learned about teleporting across like a river and I solved it and it was like pretty hard and then there was like a harder version which I was like, oh, you just apply the same solution. I had missed an easier solution to that puzzle. And the second version was to try to make me find the harder solution, right? I think this is the same thing. I found an easy solution to this puzzle the first time, and by putting Jelly as push in, they're forcing me to see, actually, you could have solved it, even if you had made flag Crab be defeat. Right away. Although they changed it by taking away one of the two crabs. What's that all about? I don't know. Let's go start spelling some stuff, I guess. Oh, I can't even get... Oh, no, yeah, I can. Oh, jeez. Okay, rock isn't pushed, so I can get out. Okay, um... So now I could say things like rock is you if I wanted. But I don't see how that would really help. spell it anyway, though. Lacking any better ideas, right? Rock is you. Now I can move the rock. But... Ah! Ah! I think I see why removing one of the, fla uh, the crabs was important. I can take away Baba is you now. And make Baba be push instead. Push Baba past the crab while... Yes, I asked, is there a way I could get past the crab while it is defeat? And I said no. And it was sort of correct because of how I phrased the question. I can't get past the crab because the crab is defeat. But Baba can get past the crab as long as Baba isn't me. Right? Um... So we need to organize things relatively carefully, but I think we can get there. Um, so Baba is you. Yeah, very funny. Um, I need Baba is push. But I think I actually need to be a little more careful than that. I believe I need... Like, cause I need to be able to push Baba by two squares, right? Which I, I, means I need another word here to push with. Actually, that's fine. I can just, like, I have an is lying around, right? Um, I was thinking I would need to use the push to do that, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, Baba, your push. There you go. Um, and now, you should be me. Congratulations. So I think... I, I think it would have been possible to do that even with the last crab still there. I think we could have put a push in place. Uh, another word. Could have used the word push as part of the chain of pushing Baba, but maybe not. Okay, that was a cool puzzle. Jelly throne. Flag is flag. Flag is also push. Baba is you. Also jelly. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Flag is push. Flag is stop. So, fine. Uh, flag is jelly. I could spell that, but it doesn't work because flag is flag. Um, instead, I think jelly is baba is the best thing I can do right now. Right? Like, it's almost the only thing I can usefully spell right now. Flag is baba. No, flag is flag. Jelly is flag. 
that just makes things worse. Yeah, let's try let's try spelling out jelly and baba and see what happens. Alright, now I have this done here. Uh Jelly is Baba. Great. I can push the flag in the other direction if I want. Is that useful? Flag is flag. Jelly is win. some way I could spell flag is win? There isn't, right? Right. I have to make jelly be win. But flag is jelly. Sorry, flag is flag. So I can't I can't make flag into jelly. I'd have to make baba into jelly, and I don't think I can do that either. Spell out jelly is flag and also jelly is baba. Okay, I don't think we've seen that before. Neither of them is crossed out. What would happen if there were a jelly in existence? Ah, it's important. Mm, no, it could happen that both of these rules come into existence at the same time. I don't know what would happen, but okay. We don't seem to have made any progress by turning jelly into flag into baba, but I do think that that's probably. So I can make flag not be push, but I still can't get through it because it's stuck, right? Flag is baba. I can't turn flag into anything. I can turn jelly into flag. Doesn't really help. I can't make flag as you. That would be an easy, like, easy thing to do. I would then just go touch the, the jelly and win. I could make flag as Baba, but as we've discussed many times, that doesn't actually do anything. It seems like the only way to make progress is to spell Jelly as Baba. Nothing else does anything. I guess having... Ugh, once again, I'm doing this in the least efficient way possible. I don't know, I'm bad at making words. What am I even doing? Whatever, just spell anyway. Right now, Jelly is Bob. Congratulations. I'm gonna someday need to turn something into into jelly again, since jelly is the only thing that can ever be win. I mean, I can break up flag as stop now. Congratulations. stops in the bottom right. There's no way I'm getting to it. I can make flag as push, and then I can shove the flag out into the area where both babas are. But flag is flag. So I can't make it into jelly. And I can't make jelly or flag be me, because Baba is you is trapped right there.
actually Like, I can make jelly as flag. I just don't understand why that would be useful. I guess the other thing I could do with the flag is, um, I was thinking of pushing it out into here, but I guess since I have two babas, I could actually push it this way, right? I could say, all right, flag is pushed starting now. Push it this way, and now it's, like, where my lower left baba is, and then I come in and push it this way, and, like, I can get the flag down to here for some reason. Doesn't seem to help in this position. If I could somehow get two things to be you, maybe that would be productive. Isn't it, isn't it kind of weird and suspicious, by the way? Ugh. Uh, I'm just trying to get a policy that's free. It's kind of weird, I think, that Jelly is like... This Jelly is win is not up against the left wall. Sort of conspicuously, right? Like, is there some reason that breaking up Jelly is win would be useful to me? I don't see one. Oh! Of course there is. I can say flag is win now. <sighs> okay. Great. Problem solved. Flag... Just one Baba right now, thank you. Flag is win. Okay. Oh man, I got so tied up in like thinking I couldn't possibly move that um, jelly is win apart. But obviously, like, it's just you can, so I did it. Crab storage. Baba is you, hedge is stop. Door is shut and stop. Okay. Flag is push. Baba is open. Baba is open. So I could go open the door and get the crab word, but that's obviously kind of a problem, right? I could say Baba is win, but to do that I would have to first say Baba is defeat. Right? I think I should try getting through this door. Um, and the only way that I see to do that is to make flag be open instead. And destroy the flag and then try to win some other way. Which makes sense because flag isn't even win, right? I can just try to make Baba is win. Um, instead of spelling out flag is win. Now I have the word crab. Well, I guess actually, thinking about it, um, that I can't possibly make Baba is win. Because in order to do that, I would just have to spell Baba is defeat. Um, well, I guess technically I could, right? I could spell out if, like, on the turn when I was spelling Baba is defeat, if I were also spelling Baba is crab, <laughs> uh, I would not be defeated on that turn, right? Um, on the other hand, I would be a crab and not be Baba, so that would be a problem. Right, Baba is me and I'm stuck being Baba. I can't turn Baba into something. Um... 
if I turn... Oh. If I turn Baba into anything, the game will be over, because I will no longer be anything, because only Baba is me. So any, any nouns that I push up through here will trigger Baba is that noun, right? Meaning I can't push any nouns up in here unless I find some way to fix that problem. And I think that the way to fix that problem is to spell Baba is Baba over here so that I can push some other noun up through here. Uh, what noun do I want to push up there? Well, it can't be Baba for two reasons. One, I'm using my Baba already to spell it Baba is Baba. And two, because Baba would have to pass through defeat on the way to win, which would lose the game. So, I think I need to pat push Crab up through there and then go touch the Crab. Because that's the only noun I can reach that isn't Baba and also that I have nearby to stand on. So, I want to spell out Crab is win. Meanwhile, Baba is Baba. Um, crab is win. And then I just want, like, any word behind it? Yeah, so it was gonna try to turn me into a crab here, but it can't. Now crab is win, and I touch the crab. Okay, cool. Burglary. Baba is you. Door is stop. Key is defeat. Key is open. Star is push. Wall is stop. What's shut? Right now nothing is shut. I get to decide what should be shut. And I can also change what is open. Well, okay, it's not quite true that I get to decide what is shut. It has to be something I can reach the noun for, right? Uh, which kind of has to be either key or star or wall. Those are the only nouns I have access to. I can make any one of them be shut, and then the key will open that thing. Key is defeat, though. And key is not push, so I can't use a key to open something. I'll have to use something else to open it. And then I, I can use star to do that, I guess. Star is open, wall is shut. And since star is push, uh, it seems useful. Wall is shut. Star. spell is win. Uh, what would I like to be win? I don't know. Uh, well, walls are stops, so that's probably not the best idea. Uh, key is win? No, we learned that. Ah, I see. I just have to turn off key is defeat, and then I can spell key is win, and that will be enough. Okay. Water is sink is an achievement that I just unlocked. I completed the area. All right, do I get like another flower thing for that or is it just like congratulations? Okay, congratulations, very good. Oh, it's glowing, how nice. We'll look at Solitary Island for a, a bit uh, before the end of the episode. Well, let's look at this number two here. Bridges, question mark. Rock and text are both float here. I remember this puzzle. We did it twice, and this is the third time. Rock is push. Flag is win. Wait. Okay, so I can spell out rock is you. And then I could go over, oops, and stand on the flag. But since text, since rock is float, that wouldn't actually win. Um, and since text is float, no, sorry. Yeah, the only thing that can possibly win is by Baba touching the flag. I can't, like, make rock be win and then touch the rock because rocks, A, are push, but also B, they're float. They're level above me, so I couldn't win from touching it. So I need to use rocks, I guess to get 
either Baba or Flag across the moat and then get them to touch each other. Um, so it seems like Rock is you is like a mandatory thing I must spell here, right? Uh, which can only be done in the following way. That's not true. I could, um... Yeah, it is, because I don't have another U to put down here. I can't spell rock is U using this thing. And I can't replace the pop-up. Okay. Rock is U. So now I can go over here. And I think I need to get the word flag. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking, I'll go get the word flag and I'll bring it back over. And then I'll spell flag is push, and I'll push the flag over or something. But that doesn't work because... Oh well, yeah, it does. No, because flag is push in that world, but it's not float, right? So I can't bring it over across the ocean. The moat. And there's nothing I can use to destroy the moat either. Aside from Baba and the flag, which doesn't seem productive. Right, rocks and text are all I have other than those things, and they float. Baba is rock? That wouldn't be very useful. Although I could spell it. I would then have three rocks. They'd all be floating. <sighs> um. So I've been thinking about ways to get Baba to touch the flag while the flag is win, right? But what if I just spelled rock as win? Right? Like, wouldn't that be pretty cool? I think it would. Because I'm rock right now. And I can almost do it, although it's rather difficult. Um, what I was thinking is something like this, right? If I could, um, I, I, could, I can start freeing up the U. Uh, I don't know, line the rocks up like this. If I had the rocks lined up like this, I could say rock is you all at once. And now I have the spare is lying around. Which I can use to spell rock is win. Interesting. Let's have a look real quick at uh, Catch the Thief. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm dead now. Very funny. Thanks, robot. Uh, so he's, he's move. And, uh, and he's going to destroy Baba is you, so I need to stop him. These kind of have to be my first several actions. Um. Robot is move. Not a lot else I can spell here, is there? Robot is you. I can spell that. Ah, that seems useful, actually. Um, the other thing I can spell is Baba is move, which would let me, like, give me, like, <laughs> boots of striding, so to speak. Uh, what are the... Seven League Boots is, like, a f sort of famous... Uh, Mythological thing? I don't know. Anyway, um, so, robot, though, I want you to be moved, but not yet. I, I want you to be me, but, but first, I need you over there. Great, thanks. I'm gonna use him to rescue the word win, so that now I can push it wherever I want. Uh... 
question. I can't connect the wind to any. I can't connect the wind to Baba because I don't have an is anymore. Hmm. Well, maybe I needed to do something a little differently. Okay, I think I did need to do... Instead of saying robot is you, I should have said robot is Baba. Because now I still have the is available and I can move this robot around just as well. Great. Then... I can come up here. Sorry, Baba, you're gonna have to... Well, I guess I don't have to kill you. Well, I guess that does kill you, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't need you, Baba, sorry. Um, Baba is you. Baba is when. Alright. That'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.